I was grumpy, I was not fun to be around, I was constantly feeling like if I wasn't planning my next move, then I was falling behind and I was a complete fail. Something had to change. For as long as I can remember, I've been guided by a master plan. The plan was always to be a singer-songwriter, to write and perform music and put out albums and travel and tour with those albums and connect with people through my music. As with any plan, you need some kind of a template and I created my template based on the parts of artists that I admire, you know, sort of using their career as a blueprint for my own. But a little after my 32nd birthday, I melted down. I melted down so hard. This template and master plan was wonderful when it was making me excited and when it was keeping me alive. But over time, I think I forgot to account for all the things that have happened in my life that have taken me down different little paths and taught me new things. And I've tried to stubbornly stick to one plan when what life has in store could be so much bigger and grander and I just want to let life in. Being an independent musician has meant so many great things for me over, over time because I've had to learn so many skills. You've got to learn to make films, edit films, you've got to learn how to create branding and packaging for your albums, making posters, uh, learning how to book shows and arrange long distance collaborations. And What's great about all of those self-taught skills is that each and every one of them parlayed into businesses in, in their own way. I started to make films for brands, for artists, for makers of different kinds. I ended up opening my own little interior design studio called Darling Let's Go Home. And just in the last two years, I've designed over 10 homes and I managed to design my first restaurant this year. Music is absolutely my heart. It's the thing that keeps my life moving. But it was giving me too much stress to think about it in only one particular way. To define my success in music only based on those who've come before me is a wackadoodle idea and I just realized that I've got to do it my way. I have realized that what makes me truly, deeply, madly happy is living a creatively diverse life, living a life where I write a song one day and make a film the next and design a space a moment later and just work on things based on what my heart is telling me and let my heart lead instead of my plans. I want to do all the things that I'm interested in doing and not just try to pigeonhole myself because that is driving me nuts. Which brings me to you. I've decided that I'm going to relaunch my YouTube channel with video content that will be releasing once a week, every week, and it's going to be everything from vlog style content where I'll be taking you through my life and how I go, go around doing different projects, what it means to live a creatively diverse life, what it means to sustain yourself, how do you make money, and how do you juggle all these things at the same time. This is the stuff that gets me excited and that I want to share with you. And also videos on beauty, on fitness, on shopping, on, on making tea, on dancing, on whatever. All the things that are bringing me joy and could be of some value to you, I want to share and I want us to connect and what a time we'll have. And I'm happy to report that there's gonna be some music content that I'm so psyched to share with all of you. And I hope you'll tune in and be part of this journey because it would mean the world to share it with you. To that end, for all my updates and daily shenanigans, you can follow me on Instagram at Gaia Music. And it would just be super fragilistic expialidocious. The cherry on this delicious parfait would be if you hit subscribe. Won't you subscribe to my channel? See you next week. It's not the pale moon that excites me.